Boom. Example two. Where did this parabola and this line intersect? Remember the formula, the way to do it? Four step process. Number one, set the equations equal to each other. Number two, move everything to one side. Number three, solve for x. Number four, plug those values into the original equation. Let's do it. Step one, set equations equal to each other. So, x squared plus 4x plus 6 equals negative 2x minus 3. Step 2, move everything to one side, like this stuff, the negative 2x and the minus 3. What do we get? x squared plus 4x plus 6. Now we have plus 2x and plus 3 on that side. We're left with 0 on the right. Simplify this a little bit because 4x and 2x make 6x, 6 and 3 make 9. There we go, it looks prettier. Step 3, solve for x. Quadratic formula or factoring? I prefer factoring. Uh, d -d 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 x plus 3 x plus 3 equals 0. If you don't know how I just did that, watch my videos about factoring. And from that, we find x is negative 3. Negative 3 or negative 3. It's negative 3. I only get one answer. You know what that means? It means it only intersects the parabola once. These two only meet once. It's totally possible for a parabola and a line to meet only once if it just grazes it like that. Normally, you expect a parabola and a line maybe to meet like that. Two points of intersection. Not this time. Only one x value comes out. Only one point of intersection. What else do we do? We plug it back into one of the original equations. So we need to take that minus 3 and put it back into one of these. I'm going to choose the easier one, negative 2x minus 3. Negative 2, plug in your value for x. I found negative 3. Da, 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 6 minus 3, I get 3. So these two parabolas intersect at minus 3, that's the x value and positive 3. That's the y that I just solved for. And that's it. Follow the process, you'll do fine.